Welcome to Booktopia TV. I'm John Purcell and I'm here with award-winning author Wendy James talking about her new book, The Lost Girls. Welcome Wendy. Hello. Hi John, nice to see you. Um, I guess straight into it, I just want to talk about The Lost Girls. Can you tell me a little bit, and our audience, a little bit about The Lost Girls? Okay, Lost Girls, it's very hard to kind of compress it, um, but it's a book about the past, it's about a crime that occurred in the past, and about how a family have dealt with that, and how a family deal with it when somebody comes back and wants to start digging up what actually happened. It gets more complicated than that, because there's a, a, the person who comes to dig up the past is also involved. Yeah. Is it based on any true story? Is there any, any story that you well, sort of... Well, interestingly it is. It's gone a long way from that, but it is... The idea for it came from a, um, a murder in the 1940s of a young girl in Newtown. And um, she was found strangled after going up to the shops for her mum to buy bread. She disappeared that night. They found her the next day dead in the cemetery there. And this has become something quite different. We've gone from Newtown in the 1940s to the Northern Beaches in the 1970s and there's not one girl but two girls. But, but some of the stuff stays the same. Um, the idea of a girl just walking up to the shops to get a loaf of bread and not coming back, that's, that's still there. And, that's, um, and, that, and the article I read talked about you know, the mother's grief and the family's pain and um, the sort of ongoing trauma of the girl's disappearance and that's still present in this book. That's sort of what it was about. It originally was called The Aftermath and that was really one I wanted to look at. Not just the murder and who did it and why they did it, but what happened to everybody in the um, maelstrom following that. And why did you choose the Northern Beaches, Sydney's Northern Beaches? Well, I started thinking about doing Newtown in the 1950s and I thought, you know, I'd really like to look at my own childhood, which had around 14, 13. And we just moved to Newcastle and so there were all these um, sort of memories flooding back. We moved from Armidale to Newcastle, where the weather is really similar to Sydney and the smells are similar and the, we're near the beach, so the people seem similar. And so a lot of stuff from my own adolescence sort of started coming back as I was writing it. So, yeah, it just seemed like the natural thing would go back. Mum and Dad actually live in Curl Curl still, so I'm always there and sort of thinking about what it was like and that particular feeling of the summer holidays and the heat, which is when she disappears in, at Christmas time in 1978. Um, going down to the corner store, you know, there's pinball machines and crocheted bikinis and those thongs that had the, those bamboo thongs with the, um, <laughs> with the velvet straps, you know, all these right. things yeah. sort of coming back. Yeah. What is it about? Um, that part of our life, our childhood and our adolescence, which seems to burn on the mind. A lot of writers use it and mine it. It seems to have more vivid memories from, from that period. I think it does, doesn't it? I think it's, I guess it's all that expectation and that leaving childhood behind. There's a scene in there where I, the main character, she goes to the mall, to Warringah Mall, and it's a much smaller place back in the 70s, but um, she goes to David Jones and I can remember that feeling of, I loved going to David Jones, I loved going and walking through that toy, they had a toy area there in David Jones, and I can remember suddenly being about 13 and walking through the toy area and thinking, there's nothing here for me anymore, I don't love it anymore, so what is there, what is what is life if, if I don't love toys anymore, and it being really disappointing and sad, and there's just this kind of, it must be a sort of transitional period where you, you don't really know what it means to be an adult, but you and you still want to be a kid, but you want to be an adult, and it was that. Maybe that's the yeah, all the great lessons, yeah, and the really hard yeah. lessons you have to learn. Yeah, yeah. So sort of stuck between two worlds. For those coming to um, your books for the first time, what would you class as? Is it a thriller? Is it what suspense? Um, I think we're, we're, we've decided what it is is something called domestic suspense, which is kind of an amalgamation of. Um, a story of a woman's life and, and what happens as she's growing up and then a crime novel as well. So we've got both aspects. It's sort of been a, a bit of a thing since Gone Girl um, came out and people are looking again at uh, women in the 50s and 60s who are writing about that sort of thing, people like Shirley Jackson um, and various others. But, but um, the Mistake is a similar sort of book too, where you've got a family, you've got a woman's life before and after an event, perhaps a crime, and then what happens when, when it all comes out in public. Um, so not just the crime, it's also sort of deeply within a domestic world of family. 
Thank you very much for coming in, Wendy. It's uh, been a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks, George. It's been a pleasure being here. It's great to see books ready to go. Um, Wendy has signed a few copies, so if you're in quick, you'll get a signed copy. But uh, nevertheless, if you do buy the Lost Girls for the first 50 or so customers, they'll get a free copy of The Mistake. If you want to try Wendy's novel, The Mistake, it's now available for $10 in our outlet.